Imagine this. You're stuck in traffic, late for an important meeting, and you glance up at the sky wishing you could just take off and fly over the chaos. Sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, right? Well, what if I told you that flying cars are no longer just a fantasy? Welcome to the future, where science fiction is becoming science fact. Today, we're diving into the world of flying cars, how they work, why they matter, and how close we are to seeing them in our everyday lives. Buckle up, this is going to be a wild ride. Let's face it, our current transportation system is broken. Traffic jams cost the average American driver over 50 hours a year, and cities are only getting more crowded. But what if we could take to the skies? Flying cars promise to revolutionize how we move, reducing congestion, cutting travel time, and even helping the environment. But how do they work, and are they really feasible? First, let's break down what a flying car actually is. At its core, a flying car is a vehicle that can both drive on roads and fly through the air. Think of it as a hybrid between a car and a small aircraft. But how does it achieve this? Most flying cars use vertical takeoff and landing technology, or VTOL. This means they can lift off straight up like a helicopter, without needing a runway. They're powered by electric motors or hybrid engines, making them quieter and more eco-friendly than traditional planes. Take the PAL-V Liberty, for example. It's a gyrocopter that can transform from a three-wheeled car into a flying machine in just minutes. Or the Aeromobile, a sleek vehicle that looks like a sports car but has wings that fold out for flight. These aren't just prototypes, they're real vehicles being tested right now. But before you start dreaming of your daily commute through the clouds, there are some major hurdles to overcome. Let's talk about the challenges. First, there's air traffic control. Our skies are already crowded with planes, drones and helicopters. Adding thousands of flying cars to the mix would require a completely new system to manage the chaos. Companies like Uber and NASA are working on AI-powered air traffic management systems, but it's still a work in progress. Then there's the issue of energy. Flying cars need powerful batteries to stay airborne. And right now, battery technology limits how far and how long they can fly. Plus, we'd need a network of charging stations both on the ground and in the air. Despite these challenges, flying cars aren't just a pipe dream. They're already being tested in real-world scenarios. Let's look at some exciting applications. Imagine a world where ambulances don't get stuck in traffic. Flying cars could revolutionize emergency response, getting medical help to people faster than ever before. Companies like Ehang are already testing autonomous flying vehicles for this purpose. Or think about urban air taxis. Companies like Joby Aviation and Volocopter are developing electric air taxis that could shuttle people across cities in minutes. In fact, Dubai plans to launch a flying taxi service as early as 2025. So, when will you and I be able to buy a flying car? Well, it might be sooner than you think. Experts predict that by 2030, flying cars could become a common sight in major cities. But it's not just about convenience, it's about reimagining our world. Flying cars could reduce pollution, save time, and even create entirely new industries. Imagine flying car mechanics, air traffic controllers for personal vehicles, or even flying car ride-sharing apps. Of course, with great innovation comes great responsibility. Let's talk about the ethical and social implications of flying cars. One concern is accessibility. Will flying cars be a luxury only the rich can afford? If so, they could widen the gap between the haves and the have-nots. It's crucial that this technology is developed with equity in mind. Then there's privacy. Flying cars could potentially spy on people or invade their personal space. Regulations will need to be put in place to protect our rights. Flying cars are no longer just the stuff of science fiction. They're a glimpse into a future where the sky's the limit, literally. But as we move closer to this reality, we need to ask ourselves, how can we ensure this technology benefits everyone? How can we overcome the challenges and create a world where flying cars are safe, sustainable and accessible? The answers to these questions will shape the future of transportation and our lives. If you're as excited about the future of flying cars as I am, hit that like button, subscribe for more deep dives into groundbreaking tech, and let me know in the comments. Would you trust a flying car to get you to work on time? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the future.